As you probably know, H3H3 Productions or H3H3 is a mega famous YouTube channel and it's run by husband and wife team Ethan and Ella Klein. They have multiple channels at the moment including H3H3 Productions, H3 Podcast obviously for their podcast, H3 Podcast highlights and one called Ethan and Ella which acts as their vlog channel. So I wonder if, when I can tell if the street is ready if I can cross yet. You think it's ready? Wait. Wait. Each of these has over 2 million subs and the main channel has over 6.5 mil at the time of this recording. H3H3's content is mostly reaction style videos and comedy sketches and they're all well known for making fun of internet culture and trends. One f***ing dollar Daniel? One f***ing dollar you gonna slow mo and dramatic music me for one dollar dude? It's like man I'm homeless and even this wasn't worth my time dude. On their podcast they do interviews, usually celebs, some of which can get pretty dramatic too. So to for most transgender people it's a lot more crucial um, fight throughout their life Caitlin than this. Caitlin was 60 when she transitioned into the female aesthetic so her whole life she's invalid to be a female just because she looked like Bruce Jenner. You just kind of like taking the easy way out and kind of being transgender because it's cool. Clearly this couple has experienced quite the success over the last few years and at the time Ethan is 34 years old and Ella is 31. They also just recently had a son named Theodore and have two Yorkies, Shredder and Alfredo, so their family is growing. Oh my god, Shredder! What the hell? We missed him for one second. Shredder! Why, why did we name you that? Both Ethan and Ella are of Jewish background. However, Ethan was born in California, while Ella was born in Israel and only recently became an American citizen in September of this year. She was actually in the military pre-YouTube and met Ethan when he was visiting Jerusalem at the Holocaust Museum. The couple ended up marrying in 2012, just a year after starting H3H3. At the time, they lived in Tel Aviv, Israel. But these days, it seemed like they've settled down and chose a multi-million dollar mansion in Bel Air to call home. From the photos this place looks pretty impressive and some fans are shocked that the couple decided to purchase something so fancy. I guess maybe they got the impression that Ethan and Ella were more modest than that. Hey guys it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at where Ethan and Ella Klein of H3H3 call home and what their new 9 million dollar mansion in Bel Air is like. We've also done house tours on the likes of the Ace family and on Justin and Hailey Bieber and we'll have links to those at the end of this. I've I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So before we look at the mansion that H3H3 couple splurged on, let's get a background of all the moving around they've done. First of all, before they got married, Ethan and Ella allegedly moved back and forth between Israel and LA more than a couple of times, due to Ella not being an American citizen yet and her visa expiring. I need some new AdSense payment here. So please spread the word about my channel. I've got some repairs around the house. I really need to get worked on. So um, spread the word, guys. I need another payment here. I need new shirt and a couple repairs. So let's just get this done here, okay? At one point in 2014, the couple was even evicted from their place and had to move in with Ela's parents, still in Israel. Uh, look around. You can see the boxes here. We're being evicted. We're moving. We're being forced to move out in about 10 days. On short notice, we can't afford the rent, we've got no money left, and we're moving to a small apartment in, uh, in uh, my parents' lost house. Which they clearly made a vlog about, and they were certainly not even close to living in the lavish mansion that they are now. Da, 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 da. That's a good video blog. Da, da. In 2015, Ethan and Ella moved back to LA, then later on in the same year, they moved to New York City. Getting close to done here, guys. The nightmare is almost over. Can't believe it. <laughs> it's been a crazy year. Yeah. It's been a crazy year here in New York City. It's been good to us, but it's not really hitting me that we're leaving yet. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. That lasted a year and in 2016 they recorded that video and moved back to LA, where they're still living now and I'm guessing where they're going to stay. I mean with the 9 million dollar mansion they just purchased, I don't think the couple is planning to go anywhere. Besides this mega mansion, records show that the Kleins still own a home in Encino, California that they bought for 2.3 million last year, and a smaller home in Woodland Hills, California that they bought in 2017 for 780k. So their real estate portfolio seems like it's come a 
long way since living with their parents. So now we're gonna take a look at the Bel Air mansion the H3H3 fam started to recently call home. Compared to their other real estate purchases, this one seems to be a step above anything Ethan and Ella previously owned. The couple spent $9 million on this big and fancy mansion in Bel Air, Los Angeles. In case you didn't know, Bel Air is a neighborhood in the west side of LA around the Santa Monica Mountains. You won't find a home that isn't in the multi-million dollar ballpark here, with some even listed for sale at over $15 million. I even saw one for $225 million. I didn't even know that was a thing. Definitely a spot for the rich and famous. Ethan and Ella's home is across the street from NBA legend Jerry West, so they have some well-known neighbors. The mansion is three floors and over 7,500 square feet, with six bedrooms and 7.5 baths. The property is also inside a 24-7 guarded and gated community, so the growing family is sure to have plenty of privacy. The house was built in 2005, and aside from the bedrooms and bathrooms, there are four living and dining rooms, a lounger media room, maids quarters, a large and modern kitchen, and a three car garage. Looking at photos you can see there's a lot of open concept space and windows to let in plenty of natural light. Of course Ethan and Ella's master bedroom includes a gorgeous ensuite bathroom and large walk-in closet as well. I'm sure one of the six bedrooms will be for baby Theodore. I mean they even have enough rooms for the pups to have one. The design inside the couple's mansion looks like it's been recently renovated and modern looking, with exposed wood beams, wood accents, and lots of white tones. Apparently it's supposed to be a mix between traditional and contemporary. In the family room, there are also views directly to the pool thanks to the large glass walls. Moving outside of the H3H3 mansion, the property has a gorgeous pool of course because what's the point otherwise? There's also a separate spa and a one bedroom guest house. Although the lot isn't huge, there's still a pretty big yard with plenty of green space. Like I said, Ethan and Ella have definitely made quite the upgrade since their humble beginnings. This place is fancy and some fans may even say a little too fancy for the couple. But I'm sure they're pretty pleased with their new home, and the massive size is perfect for their growing family. We also know that the H3H3 crew has a studio where they film their podcast and hold their many interviews, but it doesn't seem to be at their current house. What? I didn't know we could do that. It's a party. So this is the studio. Remix. What up? This is it. What do you think, Ela? This is it gonna great. work? And if it is at one of their homes, it's certainly not the current Bel Air mansion. This is the setup. We've never showed the studio before. But um You wanna tell them what we're doing here? Oh, should we should we do it? Should we explain? Yeah. So this is kind of exciting. We haven't talked about it, but let's do this. Sh so we've got the, we moved the desk here. We're gonna have a television there for when we live stream. You can see what we're talking about. Let's show them a secret. Oh, sh We have a mic here for no reason. We're gonna get a big ass table, put it right here, right? And then the camera will be down there and then Ela will just stand. She'll just stand right there. No chair. In this video, fans say that the studio is in their home, but if it is, I'm not sure. If you guys know where the H3H3 studio is, let me know down in the comments. Ethan and Ella Klein of H3H3 have clearly done well for themselves and good enough to afford a $9 million mansion in Bel Air. In addition to the money they earn from their multiple successful YouTube channels and their podcast, they also have a clothing line. Their apparel company Teddy Fresh has brought the couple a fair amount of success too and gained a strong cult following since it was released back in 2017. So there's a few pretty good income streams I'm sure. Let's not forget that Ethan and Ella apparently still own two other properties in California California, and although they aren't necessarily mansions, they still count as investments and nice additions to any real estate portfolio. From getting evicted at one point while living in Israel, living at Ela's parents' house, and bouncing from place to place, it seems like the Klein family has come a long way. I think as long as their podcast and YouTube channel stay successful, which I'm pretty sure they will, then the couple will just keep living the good life. I want to know what you guys think about Ethan and Ela's new house. Is it too fancy for them or perfect for their new family? Family. Okay guys, now it's time for me to read out some of your comments from previous videos. This one was from our before and after we did a while back on Dove Cameron. Zubita said, I think these comments are crazy. Dove is such a sweet person and she has been bullied and insecure in the past. She could have gotten plastic surgery because she was insecure and unhappy, not because she had to. However, I'm not so sure you're allowed to have a nose job at 15. I agree Zubita. I think Dove looks pretty and sweet either way, but the nose job does seem like it was a little young. Holly 
Hollywood can be crazy. On our Kim K house tour, Pam Johnson said, This house is sad. I think a lot of you guys agreed with me that Kim's house seemed a little bit empty. I would say that that's the consensus. And finally, Samantha McShann said on our Kris Jenner house tour, I just love her taste and her Florida home is a beautifully amazing escape, but her primary home is a wonderful comfort zone. Just amazing. I love her style above all. That's a sexy glam in my book. You go KKJ. And she also said she would love to see Robert Kardashian's home and the decor. I agree, Samantha. I love Kris, especially her first home out of the three and her style as well. I'll definitely put Rob on my list too and then we would have seen the whole family's homes. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Ethan and Hila of H3H3's Bel Air Mansion. What was your favorite part of their house? Don't forget to let me know some other celebrity homes you want me to do a tour on and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. I'll see you next time with some new videos. Bye!